Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about the Falklands War, and the 40th anniversary is coming up on June the 14th, but because the June 14th, because June 14th, the 40th anniversary is on a Tuesday, many people across the UK and across the Falkland Islands did a lot of their remembrance ceremonies this weekend, and the... 40th anniversary of the Falklands War, we need to remember this. It ended on June the 14th, 1982, and after British, after the British won that war, and they only won it in a matter of three months, and three of the, three weeks of those three months were involving most of the British forces getting from the UK to the Falklands Islands. Because at the time, now there are British defense bases there now, British military bases, but at the time there was not. At the time, there was only um, 69 Royal Marines that were responsible for defending all of the Falkland Islands. So Argentina was able to conquer um, the Falkland Islands fairly easily on April the 2nd, 1982. They captured most of the Royal Marines as well, and they sent them... Um, back to, uh, on a boat back to mainland UK. Uh, but the Falklands civilians were pretty much left to, uh, to experience Argentinian rule and to fend for themselves. And the, um, Argentina at the time was under the rule of Leopold Galtieri and he was largely unpopular. He was a fascist, basically right wing dictator. And he, had a lot was largely unpopular. He mismanaged Argentina's economy very badly, and to boost his approval rating, he he needed to get the nation behind him. And eighty nine percent of Argentinians believe that the Falkland Islands belong to Argentina. I disagree with that. Um, Spain relinquished claim to the Falkland Islands before Argentina declared their independence from Spain. So I don't believe. Argentina has any claim to them, even though they claim Britain took illegally took the the Falklands was what they call the Malvinas in 1833. However, 89% of Argentinians disagree with me. So once he um, ordered the Argentinian troops to go in to conquer um, the Falkland Islands on April the 2nd, 1982, there were all kind of celebrations throughout Argentina, especially in Argentina's capital, Buenos Aires. Well, they thought, the Argentina at the time thought that British, the British were not going to do anything about it because the Falkland Islands are only home to 2,500 people. And for decades before that, Britain was trying to give the islands back to Argentina because it cost a lot of money to um, to keep those Fal the Falklands up at the expense of a lot of British tax dollars. Well, but, the, and, it's, and the Falkland Islands are only home, home to 2,500 residents. But the Falkland Islanders were not going to give up their British identity, and they kept protesting this, saying the Falkland Islands are British. Actually, 99% of the people living on the Falkland Islands want to remain a British territory, even to this day. And back then, they did as well. So, the UK, I mean, so the UK said they could not give up the Falkland Islands and give them back to Argentina without the consent of the people, without the consent of the Falkland Islanders. Well, Leopold Galtieri's government did not like that, so they go in. Um, first, it was like with one to two hundred soldiers of their elite special forces and elite Argentinian Marines, but then they were accompanied by thousands of soldiers. They had thousands of soldiers back for reinforcements. But the, Margaret Thatcher said, this is not going to stand. British sovereign territory has been invaded. Margaret Thatcher was the prime minister at the time. And so she told a naval task force to go set sail for the Falklands, and that was led by two aircraft carriers, the HMS Invincible and the HMS Hermes. And it took them about three weeks to reach the Falkland Islands, and during the three weeks, the UK was going to try for a diplomatic solution. Uh, but if that wasn't going to pan out, they were going to retake the Falklands by force because it's their territory. And the people wanted to stay British, the, the residents of the Falkland Islands. Well, and there were some professional Argentinian soldiers. Uh, they were, there were, the special forces were really good. Their pilots were really good. Their, um, their Marines were really good. But by and large, the majority of the Argentinian forces were conscripts um, forced into service by Leopoldo Galtieri. Now, they had a good military commander, a good strategic military commander, and Mario, Brigadier General Mario Menendez. Well, the Falklands, uh, 
the British forces, after three weeks, they get there. Their aircraft were largely Sea Harriers, piloted by Royal Navy pilots. And the Sea Harriers carried a Sidewinder air-to-air -air missile, which was responsible for shooting down a total of 19 Argentinian aircraft in the first day of the of the air-to-air -air combat. The Sidewinder missile that the British had, they shot it shot down four Argentinian aircraft, and in the war they shot down 19 Argentinian aircraft total. Now, the UK lost 255 of their servicemen. 20 of them were on a, a British a British cruiser, the HMS the excuse me, the HMS Invincible, and. The HMS Invincible, no, not the HMS Invincible, excuse me. It was the, um, it was a British carrier that, all right, before we go there, sorry. The HMS Conquer actually, um, was a British submarine that shot down, that, sh that blew up and destroyed a key Argentinian destroyer, the HMS General Bel, I mean, excuse me, the General Belgrano. So the name of the Argentinian destroyer, the General Belgrano, was destroyed by the British submarine, the HMS Conquer which gave the British a lot of morale uh, in their naval victories. And that, now I know the British the British frigate that got destroyed by Argentinian Air Force Exocet and anti-ship missile planes was the HMS Sheffield. 20 of the casualties, which is nearly 10% of all British military casualties in the Falklands, was on the HMS Sheffield. 20 got killed. Uh, 24 wounded. Uh, the ship was sunk by Argentinian Exocet anti-ship missiles. But British paratroopers were able to get to uh, Goose Green as well as Mount Tumbledown, and they were able to take those key mountains from the Argentinians. So Argentina really didn't stand much of a fighting chance against the UK. They tried hard, but the UK had better military tacticians. They had better military equipment. In the end, the UK prevailed. And the Argentina surrendered on June 14th, 1982. And then three days later, Leopoldo Galtieri was forced to resign the, pres his, the presidency in Argentina. They were, the, the Argentinian people were upset that he lost the war so quickly. Uh, and he was already mismanaging the economy very badly and running the country like a dictator. Um, but the 40th anniversary of the war is coming up, and we need to remember the brave Falkland veterans that fought defending sovereign British territory. And there have been British and Argentinian soldiers that have reunited, and they've became friends now. And despite the di disagreement on the Falklands, Argentina has a very high number of British, of British expatriates living in Argentina. So it's kind of a love-hate relationship that the UK and Argentina has. So, but the, in Argentina, they're still taught that they're the Malvinas, not the Falklands. And it's, um, I firmly disagree. I firmly believe they're the Falklands. I don't believe they were ever Argentinian territory. So, hope everybody is doing well. Take care. God bless. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.